guys, welcome back. Today's video is on this lightweight, easy, minimal makeup look. It is so perfect for summer. And it's honestly been like my go-to makeup look recently just because it's so hot outside. I don't want to take a lot of time to do my makeup, so this is what I do. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. I'm going to start off with my skincare today just because I haven't done it yet, and I figured I'd just do it on camera. I'm going to go in with the Rodan and Fields Active Hydration Serum. This stuff is the best. I recently did a skincare routine video, and I talked all about this. It basically like helps for all different skin types, whether you're oily, dry, combo, anything, and whatever skin concerns you have, it helps with them. So like I had some breakouts and it like helped to heal them quicker, it helped make my pores look smaller and overall my skin just be softer and it helped to normalize my skin type. Like I'm no longer excessively oily but I'm not dry either so it's really really good stuff. It's kind of crazy expensive but it's so worth it to me. Then I'm just gonna follow up with my moisturizer that I've been using. This is the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. I do two pumps of this. It kind of has like gold sheen to it. Put this on, ooh, it feels so good. I actually should have only did one pump. I usually bring, bring this down my neck, but I have on a self tan right now and I don't want to bring this down because it'll mess it up. And then since I'm going to be outside all day, I'm just going to go in with the sunscreen. This is the Rodan and Fields Mineral Sunscreen. I like this because it has really good ingredients. So I use about this much, rub it in all over the skin. I believe this is SPF, is it 30 or 50? SPF 30. So now I'm gonna go in and just kind of fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. I don't want anything too dramatic just because this is a very minimal makeup look. I don't want it to be like, boom, eyebrows in your face. So I'm just grabbing the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and um, any brow pencil is fine. I'm just gonna run through the brows with the spoolie and then kind of just fill in any of the sparse areas. Um, I'm not gonna go like, overboard with this filling in where I need it filled in rather than just like going ham this is kind of like how I've been doing my eyebrows lately um, if you wanted you could run through them with a brow gel but I just find that when I barely apply any product that it doesn't really matter I don't really fill them in or anything so um, now I'm gonna go in with some like basically tinted moisturizer but first I need to prime I'm gonna use my photo finish light primer from Smashbox and just apply this on the face just because I will be out all day and it's gonna be 93 degrees today. So I need to uh, prime my face. Oh. Okay, and now my skin has been in really good condition, minus just a couple of spots, and I've been so obsessed with this foundation from MAC. It's the MAC Next to Nothing Foundation. It's basically just like a tinted moisturizer, but it has more of like a balmy feel. It's very weird. I've tried nothing like it, but I love this. So I'm applying it here on my hand just because I'm self tanning over here and I don't want to mess it up. I didn't want my beauty blender, so I'm just going to go in and use my Crown Pro C517 brush and I'm just going to put it on my face and it just gives such a pretty finish to the skin and it's not going to cover up too much. It just it's just gonna give you like a really pretty finish. And I am in the shade medium in this foundation. So I've been loving this for every day just because it is so lightweight. I don't have to work with it that much. It just kind of does its thing. I'm not like caked on so I don't get really oily. Even though this has more of like a dewy-ish finish. It's not, well not a dewy finish. It's kind of just like a satin finish, but I don't know. It's just been my go-to and I really like it. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm just gonna go in and use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is just going to spot conceal and go underneath the eyes just to cover up a little bit of dark circles. Um, so over here, just because these are like breakouts that are kind of like just fading away. And then over here, I go a little bit under the nose just because it's a little bit more red. And then I'm going to go in with my brush and just push it into where I put those just to give the extra coverage. I don't want to like buff it around because then it's going to move the product all around the face. I just want it specifically where I put the product. Just pushing this underneath the eyes. And if you don't have any discoloration that you want to cover and you don't really have any dark circles that you want to cover, you could definitely skip concealer altogether and just go in with a tinted moisturizer or something like that. But if you want that just little extra step, you can do that. I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder or whatever. And I'm just going to set the whole face with this very lightly. And then also bring this under the eyes. 
And this is what I keep with me in my purse when I'm out and about and then I can touch up. And I've also been using just like some blotting papers too. So I'll use the blotting papers and then touch up with the powder if I need to. And then you look fresh all day. I'm gonna use bronzer. Uh, I think I'm gonna use today the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer just because I want to be extra bronzed. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques blush brush and go air wear with this. And then I'm just gonna highlight just a little bit. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. So I'm gonna go in with the highlighter here and I'm gonna lightly just hit the tops of the cheekbones and just add a little bit of glow there. You can also kind of like bring this on the lid. I like to do that sometimes too. Cupid's bow and the nose. So I'd say the face is complete. I didn't do any like contouring, but you could if you wanted to amp up the look a little bit. Um, and now my favorite part is the mascara because I found a new mascara that I am obsessed with. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. It is waterproof and it's even better than the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I do go in with a lash primer. This one is from Dior. You don't have to do it. It's just what I like to do when I do mascara. So I work one eye at a time and I'm gonna go in with the primer first and coat the lashes. My lashes have grown like crazy because I've been using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum. It like grows your lashes. So now I'm gonna go in with the mascara and I'm just going right over that and it makes them extremely long and thick. Like, holy guacamole. Like, that's a $9 mascara. Holy crap. And then I go in and do the bottom, but I don't put primer on the bottom lashes just because my bottom lashes, I don't have any problems with them, like, smudging or anything, and they're already pretty long on their own, and so I don't add anything there. I just go in with the mascara. Okay, and then for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this Dior lip glow or whatever. I just like wearing chapstick day to day and this is basically what it is. It looks pink in the bottle, but it ends up like mixing with your natural lips color and turning, it, it looks a little bit different on everyone. And for me, it turns like a brighter pink, but it's very moisturizing, hydrating. It has a little bit of like a minty feel to it. All right, this is the completed makeup look. It was super quick to do. Usually only takes me like 10 minutes max when I'm not like talking to the camera and showing you how to do it. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and let me know down below what you wanna see next. And I'll see you later. Bye.